Hello, everybody. I'm just checking to make sure I'm recording. All right. Hello, Libra. It is your turn for some tarot love tea. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Subscribe to my channel. Hit subscribe for me, please. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. <laughs> no, I am not drunk. I am sober. Yes, this is me sober. Anyway, so guys, I appreciate you watching. Please comment down below, share my videos, and hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload new videos here on YouTube and go live with Super Chat answering your questions. And if you would like a private reading for your situation, please email me here, shadowbyutarot at gmail.com. And check out my new Patreon, guys. Those are videos I will not show on YouTube. Just check it out, five bucks a month, you know, and it's all for you. So let's get started with some love tea for Libra, the current energies in love for the zodiac sign of Libra. Please keep in mind, guys, these messages will not resonate with every single solitary Libra out there. That is absolutely impossible to do. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and have yourselves a great time here on Shadow by You. And I do appreciate you guys being here, watching my videos, and being so supportive to me and my channel. And I hope you guys are staying healthy and whole during these very, very disturbing and trying times that we are all going through. May you guys stay in the best of health, okay? So let's roll out some love, all right? Let's find out what's happening in love for the zodiac sign of Libra. Libra in love. What is going on? Holy Spirit, give me clear messages, please, to deliver to my beautiful sign of Libra. Libra in love, please give me the clear messages that Libra needs to hear. Zodiac sign Libra in love. What are the clear messages, please? Holy Spirit, give Libra the messages they need to hear at this time regarding their love lives, love energies for Libra. The Zodiac sign Libra in love. And I'm using my Halloween deck tonight. Ooh, all right, Libra. We have the Nine of Pumpkins, which is the Nine of Pentacles in traditional tarot. Can y'all see this lovely lady? All right. My deck is not right. Okay. Let's see. All right, Libra. Woo-hoo-hoo, Justice! Got some justice going on. Libra, you about to get married. I hate to be the one to tell you. Seven of ghosts, but somebody's got some choices here. Hmm. You see, the nine of pumpkins is the single person that is accomplished, attractive, but they want a commitment. The nine of pumpkins is the nine of pentacles, Okay. Guess what follows the Ten of Pentacles? So you are not going to be single long. I'm letting you know that a commitment is being made. Legal documents are being signed. Balance. Communication. Mm-hmm. But somebody here is daydreaming. Daydreaming about this connection. Daydreaming. And this is, by the way, you, Libra. Justice is you in the tarot. Daydreaming about this connection and weighing their choices because you do have choices. More please, Holy Spirit, for the zodiac sign of Libra. Libra in love. What are the messages for Libra? Six of wands. The imps are the wands. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Wanting victory wanting to celebrate wanting these accolades this is overcoming obstacles in a love relationship and moving forward and growing that relationship okay 
the six of wands is going into the seven of wands so the seven of wands somebody wants to make sure that everything is right they want to protect their heart weighing out other choices in the seven of cups here mm-hmm feeling victorious and that you have achieved something with your person but you just in your mind it's like you just want to make sure this is the right decision you want to make sure we have here the four of swords the bats of the swords somebody's got to think about it mm, mm, mm. somebody's really in their head really want to self-reflect making sure you guys some of you may have been in a third party situation and that third party is out mm -hmm. but you still want to protect yourself there's still a sword under the bed for you you to use to defend yourself you're still on a defense on a self-protection here the king of pumpkins is the king of pentacles some stubborn taurus energy okay somebody is gonna feel a little bit grandiose i think <laughs> so wanting to still kind of play that game a little bit just to make damn sure your person's on track mm -hmm. i see what's going on seven of ghosts are sitting on top that's the seven of cups sitting on top of that king of pumpkins mm-hmm I know how you play I know how you play gotta have that plan B <laughs> plan B C D and E <laughs> just in case it's like I love you I'm committed to you but don't make me fucking cut you <laughs> know how y'all work <laughs> we have the hermit and virgo energy look out wanting to make sure it works out kind of stall in that progress stall in that that ten of cups that ten of pentacles energy that you're right there you're on that fence in this nine of pentacles which starts the reading and I'm covering her little face. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I know what you're doing. I know how y'all are. Thinking about your person. Thinking, what can I do? Well, we're going to test this out. We're going to see. We're going to see how valuable I am to you. Because I know how valuable I am to me. <laughs> yeah. I know how y'all do. Seven of imps. Uh, seven of wands what did i say oh man you making this person wait a little bit this is your game oh i see it now delaying on purpose you want to see how far you can pull a jackass with a rope i know how you do ace of bats is the ace of swords so you're going to start talking to them more about their offer because I feel like the majority of you, you it's you getting that offer. You receiving it. Might have been a third party. Maybe not. Not for everybody. That ended. Or is working its way out the door. So that has you kind of like, okay, I want to see where your, li where your loyalties lie here. I want to see how devoted to me you are. So I'm going to put on the brakes a little bit. Slow this car down. I'm going to park on the side of the road and I want to see how patient you are. When you going to start that engine back up? How are you going to do it? Show me what you do when there's a delay, when there's some kind of little clot, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to see what you're going to do. I want to see your devotion. I want to see your loyalty to me. We're going to find out what you got. Well... We've got some terms being laid out in that ace of bats for sure but it's going to work out we got the sun card here leo and sagittarius energy in my book look at this peace and harmony got the bone in his mouth somebody threw that bastard a bone <laughs> threw 
threw my bone. You threw my bone, Libra. You felt like being generous that day. This is all about new beginnings, happiness and joy. You love this person. They make you very happy. Okay? You're going to test them out. You're going to test them out for loyalty. The lovers, Gemini energy. Some of you may hear from someone from the past in this. Yeah, you made your choice. You know who you want. That's cool. But somebody might send a surprise message, visit unexpectedly. What did I say about choices? Now here we go. Devil energy following the lovers. Why y'all want to do that? Do not do that shit. This could be somebody from the past that you really had something for and they showing up their little face right when you threw your friend a bone. You know? Mm-hmm. I don't think you're going to fall for it. No. An offer is coming in from someone else, but it's not a big offer like this person is offering you. They're going to... This person here, Knight of Pumpkins, that's the Knight of Pentacles coming in with this devil card. The lovers brought them in with that low message, that low note, that low surprise visit. Mm-hmm. They want to test you. You see what's happening? I'm going to tell you exactly what the hell's happening. You thought you were going to play the game. The game's going to play you. Because guess what? The universe brought this person back to see your loyalty. Uh-huh. I see what the hell's going on. Uh-huh. And that Knight of Pumpkins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Oh, yeah, that Earth sign is coming back, baby. We have the Eight of Pumpkins, which is the Eight of Pentacles. They're going to work this. Oh, they're going to work it good. They know how to work you, Libra. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they do. They know how. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha, Rico Suave, baby. Look at the Knight of Amps saying, I know what to get. I know what you like. I know what you like. I know what you like. I know what your favorite pumpkin is. <laughs> Temptation coming in from the devil boo. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> this shit is getting hot. This person is going to try to seduce you, Libra. What you going to do? You know what you're going to do? That's all you got? That's what you're going to tell me? That's all you got? That's all you bring into this table? Did you not look at my table? And this is what you're going to bring me? Some piss-ass bullshit? You need, you need to go sit down, friend. Because I'm busy right now. I'm busy for long right now, okay? I'm busy tomorrow, too, and the day after that. You might want to go sit down with your little flower. Go sit down with your little flower because you, Libra, are going to be the queen of wands in this. That little knight's going to come riding up with his horny little self, and you're going to be like, really? That's it? Do you not see my torch burns bright for somebody else? That I got something important here I'm dealing with, and you're going to come up to me with this bullshit? Mm-hmm. Oh, Yeah. Page of Cups, Pisces Energy. Well, you're going to knock them down a peg or two. You're going to knock them down a peg or two. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to tell your person about this. The mask is going to come off. The games are over. The mask is coming off. The games are over. And you committing to your person. You got the Queen of Pumpkins here. That's the Queen of Pentacles. That's that married person accepting. That's accepting that offer of marriage, okay, in this reading. Yeah, you ain't got time for no damn wilted ass, used up ass flower. From no get damn playboy, playgirl. You got something important going on here. And that's what you're going to choose. 
stability. Yeah, it's a little bit of a competitive thing. A little competition with the lovers. But you know what you're going to hold on to and what you're going to let go of. And if that person wants to hold on to you, let them. Because you ain't worried behind them people. I can tell you that right now. Because guess what? Six of ghosts, they don't want to let go. Oh, well, because you got yours in the two of cups. This person from the past loves you. But you have a soulmate connection here that you are committed to and you will commit even more to. Yep. Your person literally did pull the rabbit out of the hat and manifest this between you and them. Or you may have manifested this, working on this for a long time. And now you finally got what you really wanted. You see the loyalty of your person. You see their dedication and love to you. You're honest with them about the past lover coming back, offering you some kind of damn peanuts, some damn wilted ass tulip, whatever the shit that was. Anyhow, and you knocked that person down a peg or two. I'm not going to say it didn't hurt your little heart to do that in the nine of bats because you, you put a lot of time, effort, and energy in that person in the past. And you just did not expect all this to come and throw you off, but it did not hurt you at all as far as your relationship. You planted a very, very stable, important seeds with the person that you are involved with now, the person that wants that commitment, the person that you are accepting a commitment with. You're not letting that go. You got that ten of pumpkins. You're growing this, you see? That seven of pumpkins is blowing up into that 10, all right? Yeah, you guys may have secrets from one another, from past stuff, but it's nothing. I feel like y'all can keep that out the relationship. It, it does evolve um, to where you do open up more and more to one another. But you're not letting it hurt the relationship. You're still devoted to your person. Ten of Cups is following that Ten of Pumpkins. That Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups are together. All right. I'm here to tell you. You love your person. They love you. You're devoted. You're growing your life together. And you see that person from the past? They're going to remain in the past. They're going back home rejected, dejected, depressed. Oh, well, y'all can just, you and your friend and all your friends, y'all can be just gossiping about them, look, talking about them behind their back because they stupid for coming back this late in the game in the first place. Bye, bitch, bye. And that is exactly what you're saying. Look, you little cat, I'm watching you leave, bitch. Okay. <laughs> That person is leaving, feeling left out in the cold because you done kicked them in the ass. Judgment is here. The final judgment was made. You're getting rid of that other person. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Whew. That was deep. That was deep. They came in. They got kicked in the pants like hell to the no. Bitch, please. Take your damn piss ass off of. And go back to your house. <laughs> All right. Angelic principalities, please give me messages for the zodiac sign of Libra. Oh, my beautiful air sign people, Libra. What are the guided messages from the romance angels for Libra? What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to hear from the angelic principalities? Woof. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You and your person have true love together. Oh, baby. What was I saying about the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups? We got a wedding going on. Woo! wedding this situation involves marriage need i say more yes i will say more okay <laughs> retreat look at the wedding attire this man and woman this couple i don't give a damn man man woman woman dog cat i don't give a shit what you got 
It's time to disconnect from the world, spend time together. The commitment is there. The commitment has been made. Now you, leave, you need a long time. You need to connect with one another. You need to enjoy your moment because this is your moment with your person. This is your moment. This is your time. Underneath the deck, it says, let your friends help you. Again, wedding attire. The commitment is there. The commitment is there. I'm going to pull a goddess oracle for all you goddesses and want to be goddesses. <laughs> Y'all know I'm just playing around. All right, guys. Goddesses, please. Give Libra some guidance in their love lives. The zodiac sign of Libra. What is the guidance from the goddesses for the zodiac sign of Libra in love? Goddess, love, oracle. Yemanya, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Take that leap of faith. Take that chance. Your person's making a big, big, big offer to you, a proposal of marriage, a commitment of a lifetime. Lakshmi, bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Look at that. I just want to pull another one. I do. I really do. Quan Yin, compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. There we go. Keep the peace. Keep the peace. <laughs> oh, I got to share what's under the deck. I just can't help it. Ericura, blossoming. You are just getting started. To, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. Have patience with yourself and your person. Don't give up. What you want is happening. It's unfolding. Give it time. It is happening. It's in the now. Accept it. Receive it. Enjoy it. Believe in it. Have faith. It's happening. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Leave me comments down below and please do. Join me on my live streams for Super Chat where I answer your questions live here on YouTube. So please subscribe, give me a thumb, and I hope to see you soon. All right, bye-bye.